guys, welcome to my how-to video to make custom NES dust sleeves. And big shout out goes to G Unit Kalima who gave me the idea for this. Here's blades of steel. And all you pretty much need is an X-Acto knife here. And what I've done is taken my X-Acto knife outside and scraped it all over the cement to kind of dole it out. Because you just want to score along these lines here. This way you'll be able to make the crease perfectly. Now I sped the video up here so just take your time when you're scoring it. I just wanted to save time because who wants to see me cut a piece of paper forever. So just cut along the black line here so you get a nice clean cut and get that nice corner edge out. So that's the front of the cover. One more thing you want to do with the front of the cover is just cut a little slit on the ends here so this way you'll be able to fold those in. And we'll be gluing those first. So make all your creases. Should fold nicely after you scored the paper. Fold the little guys up there and just get some regular Elmer's glue. I put down some cardboard not to mess up my table. Fold up the pieces, just need a little dab on each one, and then you're going to put it together. Just make sure everything lines up nice. Press it firmly together and it should stick. And then we're just going to put this aside and work on the back piece while that dries. Now to save ink, I just use an all-white background just with the Nintendo logo, but you'll see later in some of the videos I have more elaborate artwork on it. Now on the back piece, you can cut those corner pieces out. You don't need those. So just cut those with the scissors, and you're just going to have the end pieces that you'll be folding here. And again, you're just going to lay some glue. I like to put it on the edge of the table to get the glue on there real good so it doesn't get on the sides or anything, and it's just on the places I want it. Now you're going to take your front piece cover there and your back piece with the pieces all folded, gently lay it in there. And you want to line up all the edges there to make sure everything fits real perfect. And I like to take an NES cart to slide it in there. This way I have something I can press against. I'm really make sure the bottom fits in there good and the sides. This way you know it gets a nice tight fit. And there's a finished product, Blades of Steel for the NES. Nice spine label there, it's in full color. In the back, I just have the NES logo. Not too bad. Slides in perfect. Not too much gap. And it hugs it nicely. Alright guys, kind of wanted to give you some insight on the artwork here. Um, in Photoshop here. And I just grabbed these images straight from um, uh, the coverproject.com. Here's the... Uh, full artwork right there and I just kind of use the copy tool to copy you know the uh, spine label the front and back and that's uh, that's what we got here now I took the eraser too and erased out over here there's no point of wasting ink you're not going to use any of that you're just going to use the um, you know the trim area there so that's the front cover there and then the back it's got you know some of the scenes there like on the box art itself um, Obviously it doesn't fit perfect, so you kind of have to tweak it and stretch it. I kind of only stretched it to here and then colored in this area right here and then over here so I didn't have to stretch the image as much. Some of the box art might be different though, it just happened to work out well uh, this way. So that's pretty cool. Let's get this printed. Now I did went and I picked up some glossy paper opposed to the cardstock which is still pretty stiff, um, but it has an awesome effect to it, and it looks real shiny and great. There we go. There it is, and the nice glossy paper. Here's the cover I made before without the gloss, and you can see them side by side there. Got a nice shine and stuff on here, and this is more of a matte finish. I mean, this one came out pretty good, too box art back there and everything but I really like the glossy effect here so I think I might do that with like some of my more uh, popular games that are like you know the Castlevania series Mega Man stuff like that use the glossy paper and it wasn't that much more I paid um, $15 and I got this whole whole sheet got a hundred at uh, Walmart for 15 bucks um, and the matte paper, uh, not the matte paper, cardstock paper, it was only $4. 
and you get 110. So, you know, a little bit cheaper. Um, so, just depending how much you want to spend to get it all done. I mean, you can use this or you can use the gloss. Both look pretty good. Alright guys, here's the uh, cases on the shelf. I did a couple here. This is all with the um, cardstock paper. I got real box game. More of the cardstock. Did a couple of these. I'm trying to keep them all uniform with this uh, Nintendo little logo there. And then do the spine label. So they all line up. This one I uh, forgot to set right now. I saved this image on the uh, Photoshop. So this is the way they all um, you know, line up perfectly. Here's the one I just did with the glossy paper. You can kind of see the difference between the glossy and the cardstock a little bit. Obviously when you pull it out. You see the gloss on there. Opposed to uh, Simon's Quest here. It's more of the matte like cardstock finish there. Not as glossy. If it kind of snug on here I could probably remove one of the games so it's <laughs> not as tight but this way I can fit more games on there. So I got a rest of the top row to go there. And then maybe like 15 games there or so to go. Pretty cool. Hey YouTube, what's going on? Russ Lyman here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, little uh, how-to video to make some custom NES dust leaves there. Um, the whole idea started for me uh, catching a video on um, JHMDF's uh, page. He does a lot of pickup videos, and a buddy of his sent him some cool dust covers, and then he sent us a link, and uh, his YouTube channel is uh, G Unit Kalima. George is his name. Uh, awesome guy. He's been putting up a bunch of these videos, so I'm going to put a link over here so you can uh, click that, check out all the dust covers he did, um, and then I want to show you guys the one I did. Um, some of the basic ones here I kept. This is uh, Dino Rinky. Um, I kept it white in the front to kind of save ink and just kept the logo there logo there but on the spine label it says Dino Rinky there full color so then when it's on the shelf it looks real cool um, I mean you can switch it up you can do whatever you want here's Bionic Commando I put a little logo of Bionic Commando there and then on the back side I got him swinging thought that was kind of cool Bionic Commando and they feel real good comes in and out this is with the uh, cardstock paper Here's like I took the box art for Simon Quest, Castlevania 2, and kind of just put it on there. Not too bad. It wraps over and all that. Looks real cool. And then I did, just recently I picked up the photo paper. You can use photo paper as well. And here's Castlevania 1 with the uh, photo paper. So it's got a little more uh, glossy effect to it. So it looks pretty cool. It all just depends on... Um, you know what kind of uh, gloss you want if you want cheaper route because the um, cardstock paper is only about four dollars opposed to getting photo paper which is more towards twelve fifteen dollars so hope you guys like that make sure to check out his videos and uh, I'll probably be doing the rest of my collection this week just so it looks cool on the shelf thanks again George hey guys I got uh, some more artwork from George he's got a new little project gave me the sneak peek at um, Pretty much just like a small box art. He did one for Mario Brothers here. It's kind of the front and then the back. Duck Hunt. So when you fold it together and you'll be able to flip it over. And he made it with enough space to put a uh, cartridge and a manual in there. Um, now I did one for um, Ninja Turtles game here. And I chose the new artwork they had in uh, CoverProject.net with instead of them with all the red bandanas, it actually has their actual colors. And I saved some ink here where I kept this white here and up there because you'll be folding these in and gluing them anyways. The same thing with the back part. I didn't want to waste black ink, um, you know, using all that because you're not going to see those. It's going to be with the glue. Um, so I'll assemble it and then show you guys what it looks like. Pretty cool. Okay, so here's my uh, Ninja Turtle box art on um, Photoshop. And I was going to show you how um, what I did pretty much on the file here. You can see down below over here it has the uh, shape. So what you want to do is uh, click on that and bring it all over to white. And then also on the file he has um, top up here. 
this box outline, if you double click that, I put a stroke on it of one. So this way it just has that, that outline that you can see around it. So this way you know where to cut. But again, you're saving ink because you don't need to put black there or in there. I mean, you could, but you're never going to see it, especially here. That's where the glue goes. And then for my back, all this would just be wasted ink here because that's all going to fold in with glue. So you go down again to your shape. Okay, I get the white. It gets rid of that there. And then again, you have to make sure on your... Um, shape here and it's got the stroke on it. This way you know where you're cutting. So there's the back. Again this is all going to be glue. Alright guys here's the uh, mini box there for Ninja Turtles. A little bite size. Looks cool. Got the side label there. Ninja Turtles. Just like the back of the box. I just kind of scrunched everything down. But Pretty much fit everything on there. You get the cool little scenes in there, barcode and everything. So then, got your spine label and the games in there. We could do this one-handed. Yeah, so it fits pretty good. Definitely has room for a manual if you want to put a manual in there. I don't have any manuals for my games that aren't boxed. There we go. Ninja Turtles. See, I don't like how they're all red. They're all Raphael. So I got, they had at the cover project. It's cooler box art. So pretty neat. Thanks, George. Pretty awesome. This is with the uh, cardstock paper, too. Not too bad. I like it.